Ty Campbell with Tekken Racing. In this video, we're going to cover the setting brake frequency, specifically what it does, how we actually use it on the racetrack, and how to adjust it through the hot wire. Brake frequency plays a huge part in how quickly your brakes react to the trigger movement and the general feel. Lower frequencies are going to provide a more aggressive braking action down low, and higher frequencies are going to soften that braking action down low. Adjusting brake frequency is a lot like adjusting the exponential curves on the radio side of things. Really all we're doing is moving where our brakes are stronger or weaker on our trigger. It's not changing the 0 to 100% or 0 to 70% because we don't always run 100% brakes. We're just changing how we get there. A good example of this would be taking a low frequency, for instance. By the time we get to 30% on our trigger, a lower frequency might actually make 30% trigger 50% brake power. The same thing is true of a higher frequency. By the time we get to 50% brakes, that might only be 35 or 40% actual brake power. Setting brake frequency can vary a lot vehicle to vehicle. So for a rock crawler, I normally run 750 hertz we want the strongest drag brake possible. In a stock off-road application or an on-road application where we have lots of grip and we want to be able to really lock up the tires, again, a low frequency is beneficial for something like that. In 8-scale electric off-road and 10-scale electric off-road, I tend to hover in that 6 to 8K range, and mostly it's because I don't run 100% brake. I normally in that 60 to 75, 80% range. So by using a frequency in the middle of the road, we get a pretty linear brake feel all the way up until maximum brake power, which I normally set to not be able to completely lock up the tires and skid. If you happen to be running 100% brake and it's still not quite enough, check out the Tekken Clinic on the setting active braking. Brake frequency can only be adjusted via hot wire on a Windows PC and some Android and Apple devices. We're gonna plug into a Windows PC right now and I'll show you how to adjust it. Brake frequency is located on the brake tab in the hot wire and it is this drop down box right here at the bottom. The default is six kilohertz. So that is a pretty good middle of the road place to start. That is why it's our default. Now in eight scale, which is what this RX-8 Gen 3 is in, I run my brakes typically Lowest is about 68, depending on traction. Highest is about 85, and that's only on really high bite stuff. So I kind of play with brake frequency depending on where I have my brake strength set. And again, I do brake strength through my radio, so you can ignore this guy right here. I just leave it at 100, so it's calibrated there. That way, when my radio is at 100, I know it's 100, and then every click down from that is the same as clicking it down 1% in the brake strength on the hot wire. So brake frequency, six kilohertz. We're going to set this to eight kilohertz and we just need to apply the settings so we can save them to the ESC. Setting saved, we're now running eight kilohertz brake frequency. 